No, I do not think that I made rules. No, the rules are there. I'm just implementing them now. So every time there's going to be a discussion, I just keep on telling them, we always refer them. What is the rule? It's not going to be me. It's not going to be them. It's going to be the rule. We now discuss the flagrant foul. Now there are two types of this call. The flagrant foul penalty one is a non-basketball unnecessary move that involves a clear attack on the man and not the ball. It is hard and hurtful but does not result in dire consequence or an injury. Let's take a look at how a flagrant foul penalty one looks like and analyze it. Command shot to Arthur Villafuz, I think above the shoulder in yeah. the contact. Jake Manuel is called for the flagrant one, locking his arm on the jaw of Art De La Cruz. Let's take a second look. As we can see Vic Manuel fighting for position, he ends up landing a forearm on the neck area of Art De La Cruz. Though the foul does not cause any injury, the play still shows Vic Manuel unnecessarily hurting Art De La Cruz with a non-basketball move. Now we go on to the second type of flagrant foul call. The flagrant foul penalty 2 is an unnecessary and excessive contact which results in dire consequence or an injury. It may also be called when a punch is thrown or when elbowing with contact above the shoulder level. Let's take a look at how the flagrant foul penalty 2 looks like. Ooh, we hit him on the head and you can okay. see two referees made that signal right away. It was a play on the head. Let's take another look. As seen here, Rico Meyerhofer clearly throws a punch and lands around the head area of Jonathan Gray, resulting in a flagrant foul penalty 2 call. A flagrant foul results with two free throws plus ball possession. The penalty too, however, includes a player ejection. Afterwards, the league reviews the play and decides on the amount of the fine. For more on the PBA rulebook and your everyday dose of basketball, keep it here on PBA Rock.